In the grasp of time, there is no victory like this one. Savor it as the battle is not over. Another wrinkle shedding the darkness for more light to come and pierce the veil almost all gone now. Stay vigilant and alert as the enemy doesn't settle down. Stay focused on the biggest picture, always. Lies can no longer deceive your souls, but not everyone has crossed that bridge. As you fight for your freedom, you do not leave behind the wounded ones. Escape is already in place, but all is not safe or clear. You fight for your awakening, but you fight for all the innocent ones too. Your journey may be yours, but it is intricately connected to others as you are all on this path of recovery. Do not let it shatter. Embrace the victory. Let it empower you, but keep moving as tomorrow is different, not written yet. Stay focused on the horizon, on the beyond as life prevail everywhere. Do not forget that you are part of the universe as we are all. You matter so as every other beings in existence. Enjoy this day. Tomorrow will bring another fate to face. Love yourself and others around. The key is to stay connected with what feels right in your heart. Everybody has its own healing journey, so do not try to compare. To fully moving to your true self, which will feel at the beginning like a new you, you must play a symphony which contains many instruments all playing together. One cannot wait at that stage of the performance after one another. This is where you are now at life. You can't stop the play to heal one trauma because you must learn to keep going with what has already been healed while transforming another new part. Some days will feel easier than others. This part of the journey. Embrace the challenge as it is getting closer to the final cleanup. You must feel already a different beat for your heart. Your body is adjusting daily in need of different level of energy, hence the various level of focus during the day lately. We are proud of your progress in this final transformation you may question sometimes. When being part of the world is heavier, but you must find your truth that there is no wrongdoing when those with good intentions. You are all different for a reason. It's up to you to adapt a partition to your instrument for the same symphony. It will play so beautifully, but it can sound at the moment false. Pray from your heart, always, and you will always know what is yours. You are your own frequency, powerful and so bright. Do not try to imitate others, as the truth is always unique. We may be all the same, and yet we are all so different. Questioning yourself, your actions, is a sign of self-empowerment. Embrace it. Back in January, I saw everywhere the Mind Valley um, videos that is still running. So many tools helping me to understand and to work on myself. I was extremely hungry and I was devouring the quest. One that really helped me to ground myself when meditated and to feel a bit of peacefulness coming into my life with Jeffrey Allen and all of the different meditation that he's offering into his uh, main program. This is something that you can go and explore, see if it fits for you. At that moment of my life, the way that it was taught, it was kind of a going back to basic. It was helping me the way that I was at that time. I saw the difference session after session or meditation after meditation that I was doing in the morning and night. And it's a work in progress and you have to be gentle and loving with yourself. This is an extremely deep tool because to find who I am, I have to go back deep inside and everything has to be 
digged out has to be healed. It's really layers after layers that it can happen. How deep down inside I can go and how much I can be connected to the source. Try, I'm going to put him down below. boundaries to protect my heart i placed long ago thick walls nobody could see me nobody could get me the problem is with such a structural fortress if you open a crack in the main door or window things will inevitably find their way inside but having boundaries mean that i know my worth I respect myself to not give my energy to the taking anymore. This is another resetting part that I finally learned. See, when you actively work on finding your true self, you must learn, maybe for the first time, to love yourself and to respect yourself. This epic journey is a self-centered one, but the world is still here. People are surrounding you. This is another resetting part that I finally learned to put in place this summer. It's a work in progress. Any people pleaser will understand that, but all the work that I do reprogramming is out of love for myself. The energy of this new moon was quite intense. I clearly didn't expect it so high. Healing I still need. But receiving love is clearly the biggest missing piece of mine. Love can change all wounds into sweet valleys. And I desperately need to receive love. Pure love. Despite this powerful force trying to submerge my heart, my intuition was fighting. I felt it. The worst day to get out for meeting new people. And yet, it was the easiest to happen for the last eight weeks. I can't explain it. I just knew. I just followed what my intuition was telling me to. Who said finding your true self and reprogramming your mindset will be a walk in the park? With the strength of Poseidon, I am empowering my soul, remembering parts of who I am. Nothing can stop forever pure energy to pass, to exist, and to transcend. Life is entangled at the moment, keep it that way. Stay in your growth journey and do not fear to see the truth. Stay active, keep healing your traumas. Don't force or speed up the process because all happens in time to be fully experienced. You chose to go through this because you know that even without your memory of your true self, he has the strength inside to succeed. Accept to move along one step at a time. It may seem small, but in fact those steps are profound. The more you surrender to this unknown new version, the better it will proceed. Abandoning yourself, losing control may be difficult, but if you think about it, this illusion that you are detaching yourself from never give you control of your life while you were in sight. At the moment, your path may still be hidden because you're still healing, but you are in control of that path. Your decisions and actions leading to that true being of love that you are hiding is not on the map only shining as a beacon of hope and love 